Greetings to all of my friends out there in internet land. Uh, I have been asked uh, by a couple of people about my everyday carry package. What am I carrying with me when I leave the house? Uh, I suspect some people are just trying to get general opinions off of everybody that posts a gun video just to see what they're doing. So uh, here's my information to help them out. Help Maybe help you make a decision on what will help you. I carry a little notebook, a little cheap notebook. I think I get these in three or five pack, three or six packs, one of the two. Um, and uh, I, I carry one of these with me. If I lose it, I lose it, but I want to have the paper. And of course, to go with it, I have a pen. This is a space pen. It uh, works quite nicely. I like the coloring. Isn't you know the the rainbow coloring is really kind of neat. Works well. Uh, it's a space pen. It's small. It's light, and it works. I carry a multi-tool. It's is a Leatherman Juice. Uh, that's what I'm carrying now. Uh, it's a very good multi-tool. It does the job uh, that I need. Uh, I use the pliers on it and uh, the bottle opener the most. Uh, so that's, uh, that's that, but it's nice to have that tool with me. I carry a lighter. I want to have a means of making fire. I do not smoke, uh, at least not anymore, uh, but uh, I want to have a means of making fire readily available. It comes very much in handy. I, I got tired of carrying Bic lighters, so I got this nice Zippo with my, my Navy's logo on it. I, I served in the Navy. And uh, this is not a standard Zippo. The insert has been replaced. It's not the flint and fluid style. This is a butane style uh, that just spot ignites. And I got a little torch and great to have fire available. I do carry a flashlight. Uh, this is the one I'm carrying now. It's a 4.7's Mini 2 M2A. Uh, these are really nice flashlights. They're really bright. They got good durability and good brightness and good battery life. So this is uh, the one I'm carrying now. Uh, for a regular just straight blade, uh, this is a Kershaw Leaf. Uh, this is a, a nice size. Uh, it's handy. It's not a tactical blade by any means. I would not <laughs> even think about using it unless for some reason I had to, you know, sneak up behind somebody and, and slit their throat. But I'd rather <laughs> not do that, thank you very much. I think there's a lot more better options out there. This is not intended to be a tactical blade. It's a utility knife. It attacks cardboard boxes with wild abandon. I also carry my cell phone. Uh, this doubles as my as my watch because it's got the clock, it's got the time, it's got lots of stuff in it, and it takes care of what I need. A cell phone is probably the most important safety equipment you could possibly carry. Um, it's it's just going to be the best for you to get a hold of help when you need it. Um, so I, I always carry that. Now, what I think the the big thing outside of you know, utility that is generally being asked is, what do you carry as a firearm? Well, uh, I do uh, carry a firearm. I have a concealed pistol license in Washington State. Uh, and anywhere that I am going, if they do not have a metal detector, I'm carrying. And that's that. I don't care what the sign says. I don't want care what the company policy is. Um, I'm going armed. And that's that. So, what do I carry? Well, starting off with the small one, Smith & Wesson 442. Uh, this is a nice, lightweight 38 Special. Uh, this is something I tend to take with me when I'm going hiking uh, or on walks through, uh, through parks and things, uh, along uh, Greenbelt specifically. Uh, I used to work in a place that uh, I would take my, my lunchtime walk uh, would be along through a Greenbelt on a, on a bike trail uh, through a Greenbelt that had a, a river through it. And a few miles away from where I worked, a anaconda got somebody's pet anaconda got loose, and went straight into that green belt that I was in. Um, so, needless to say, the first shot set up uh, for this gun is uh, a shot shell load, and followed by four hollow points. I don't carry this a lot. Uh, but there are situations when I think this is uh, the best choice. Like I said, when my most likely threats are going to be four-legged and furry or uh, no-legged and slithery, uh, this is actually what I want to have. So uh, that's where I start. 
Uh, that's number one. The gun I carry most often is an M&P 9C. Uh, this is a good size. It has good capacity. It's 9mm, uh, which works just fine. Um, I put the, the oh, where did I get these? I put the grip, ta uh, the grip uh, tape on it. Uh, just to give me some, some bite, and I really like the way it works. Uh, a lot of people complain about the M&P trigger. I do not. It works for me. I'm able to shoot it. It works. Uh, so, like I said, this is the one I carry most of the time. Uh, and I'm, I'm not unhappy with it. it. Well, that's why I'm carrying it. And uh, about the only thing I've done with it, uh, aside from the grip tape, is I changed out the back plate. Uh, and third, the gun I really want to be able to carry all the time, but can't really for other reasons, is my M&P 45C. Uh, I really like this. I just tend to hit best with a 45. Uh, that's just me. Uh, I hit best with my 1911s. I hit best uh, with this gun. Uh, I hit best with uh, my Glock 30. Uh, but uh, in fact, this is this is a replacement for my Glock 30 uh, because this feels better in the hand. It just does. I don't have anything against the Glock, but they're blocky, and I've got small hands. So this actually fits a lot better, and I, I prefer to carry it, but it's, it's just a little bit bigger uh, than the 9, and that makes a bit of a difference when you're looking at it. Now, I, I did change out the sights for some fiber optic tritium sights. Uh, I think these are True Glows. Um, I could be wrong about that. I forget exactly, but um, I did change them. I do like the fiber optic with the tritium, and the only reason I have not changed it out on my 9C for the same type is that I was un completely unable to in any way even budge the front sight, whether I beat on it or tried to plier it or vice it or whatnot. The 9, I couldn't move it, so I said I'm going to use the factory sights. But this one, I've got these, and I changed out the back strap for my Navy. So that is what I carry uh, on a daily basis. Uh, it's amazing. This is very light. Of course, I have keys that I, I carry with me as, as well. Everybody's got to have those. Um, and that's uh, house keys and, and such. Uh, but that's will vary from time to time. I generally take my, my general purpose key ring um, and depends on the vehicle that I'm driving. So that's what I've got. That's what I carry. That's my opinion on the subject. And your mileage may vary. Have fun, stay safe, and God bless.